In the lawlessness of the Old West, one name terrifies many, Bill Longley. Known as one of the most dangerous outlaws of his time, Longley's life was filled with violence and bloodshed. In this video, we dive into the life and fate of Bill Longley, one of the deadliest gunmen in the Old West, who finally met a tragic end after being hanged three times. Remember to hit the like button because it helps us a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to not miss the upcoming interesting videos. William Preston Longley, also known as Wild Bill Longley, was born in Mill Creek, Texas on October 6, 1851. His parents, Campbell and Sarah Longley, moved the family to Evergreen, Texas in the first year of his life. Growing up in Evergreen, young Longley went to school and worked on the family farm. It was during this time that he learned how to use a gun and would soon prove himself to be one of the fastest shooters in Texas, with his ability to aim accurately and engage in numerous small gunfights. Following the end of the Civil War, Texas Governor E.J. Davis created a state police force composed primarily of former slaves, which exacerbated existing tensions between Confederate sympathizers. In December 1866, an incident occurred in Evergreen when a drunken black policeman recklessly brandished a gun and hurled insults at the local townsfolk, while Bill and his father, Campbell, are also present there. During a tense confrontation, when the police officer insulted his father, Bill courageously stepped forward and asked the man to put down his gun. The defiant officer raised his weapon, aiming at young Bill, who quickly shot the man. Following this incident, Longley joined other young individuals and embarked on a reign of terror, targeting newly freed slaves. Two black men became the victims of Longley's violent behavior in the town of Lexington, Texas. On December 20th, 1868, Longley, along with Johnson McCune and James Gilmore, intercepted three former slaves from Bell County, resulting in the tragic death of Green Evans. For the next two years, Longley and his brother-in-law, John W. Wilson, continued to instill fear among black families in South Central Texas. By this time, Longley had gained a reputation as a quick and deadly gunfighter, leading many to seek him out with the desire to win against the fearsome gunmen. However, these challengers always failed when confronting Longley on the street. Longley has been involved in a number of conflicts, with anyone suspected of being a member of the Union or a freeloader. At six feet tall, he was known for brutally ble beating any black man who crossed his path. During this period, Longley is believed to be connected to an outlaw gang led by Cullen M. Baker, operating in Arkansas. However, historians suggest that Longley was merely accompanied by a gang member and faced charges from the association. Some time later, Longley and his companion were arrested by a group of guards accused of being a horse thief and sentenced to swift execution. As the crowd left, however, a man lingered around and aimed several times at the couple. One bullet hit Longley in the face, breaking a tooth, while another grazed the rope he was hanging from, saving the dying outlaw. This was the first time Longley has been strangled but escaped death. In February 1870, Longley and his brother-in-law, John W. Wilson, committed the murder of an African-American named Bryce in Bastrop County. They were also charged with the murder of a black woman. The murder of a black woman in March prompted authorities to offer the couple a $1,000 reward. Wilson's brother-in-law died shortly thereafter, prompting Longley to venture north. When he landed the job as a trail driver in Abilene, Kansas, he got into a deadly dispute with his trail boss following a disagreement. In addition, Longley confessed to killing a horse thief named Rector McClellan. He then sought refuge in Leavenworth, Kansas, where he killed a soldier for insulting the honor of Texas women. This time, Longley was arrested, tried, and found guilty of murder. Despite receiving a 30-year sentence, he still managed to plan and successfully escape. Soon after, Longley embarked on a gold mining expedition in the Wind River Mountains of Wyoming Territory. 
However, their progress was abruptly halted when the U.S. Army intercepted the group, leaving Longley stranded. In June 1870, he joined the United States Cavalry but soon deserted. He was later arrested and faced a military court, receiving a two-year prison sentence at Camp Stambaugh in the Wyoming Territory. After his release, he briefly rejoined his unit before deserting again on June 8, 1872. Returning to Texas via Parkerville, Kansas, he claimed responsibility for the murder of an individual named Charlie Stewart, but there are no records to substantiate this fact. He'd returned to Texas, Bell County, where his whole family had moved. He then took on the role of a cowboy in Comanche County. It is thought that during this time that he killed a black man and engaged in a brutal gunfight in the Santa Ana Mountains of Coleman County. In July 1873, Longley was arrested by Mason County Sheriff J.J. Finney in Kerr County, only to drive him to Austin with the expectation of a worthy reward. After several days, when the bounty was still not paid to Finney, he decided to release Longley. According to historical data, many believe that a relative of Longley ended up paying Finney. In late 1874, Longley and his brother James Stockton Longley traveled from Bell County to their uncle's mansion in Lee County, where Caleb Longley begged Bill to avenge Wilson Anderson's alleged murder of his son. On March 31, 1875, Longley aimed and shot Anderson dead while he was plowing a field, sending the brothers fleeing north into Indian Territory. In July, James Longley returned to Bell County and surrendered to authorities, eventually acquitted of any involvement in Anderson's murder. However, Bill Longley is still a fugitive, aggressively pursued by the law. In November 1875, Longley killed George Thomas in McLennan County before journeying south to Uvalde County. There, in January 1876, he killed William Schroyer. In February of 1876, Longley shared his crimes with Reverend William R. Lay from Delta County, Texas. However, a dispute with a local man over a girl led to Longley's arrest. In a daring prison break, he escaped by setting fire. One account claims that Longley and Reverend Lay vie for the affections of the same young woman. Reverend, trying to protect her from Wild Bill's ferocity. Soon after, Longley took action on June 13, 1876, fatally shooting the Reverend while he was milking a cow. Longley seeks refuge in Louisiana until things calm down in Texas. However, the law caught up with him when Nacogdoches County Sheriff Milton Mast arrested him in DeSoto Parish, Louisiana. Longley was later brought back to Lee County to stand trial for the murder of Wilson Anderson. During this time, Longley turned to writing letters for various newspapers, telling them stories of his life's adventures and taking responsibility for the deaths of 32 men. He also wrote a private letter to the governor, calling for clemency. In his letter, Longley questioned why he was hanged when notorious gunman John Wesley Hardin, who was responsible for 40 murders, only received 25 years in prison, but the governor did not respond. On September 5, 1877, jurors in Lee County deliberated for just an hour and a half before sentencing William Longley to death by hanging. His appeal was denied in March of 1878, on October 11, 1878, before a crowd of thousands in Giddings, Texas, Longley was led to the place of hanging by Lee County Sheriff James Madison Brown. Bill walked to the gallows and said, I deserve this fate. It is a debt I have owed for a wild and reckless life. So long, everybody. Then the trap door opened, but something surprising happened. Bill jumped to the ground and landed on his feet. Maybe the hangman made the rope a little too long for Bill's tall body. The crowd, estimated at 4,000, booed the failed hanging. Immediately, the sheriff and some of the guards lifted Bill up so that the hangman could fasten it, so that the body is properly suspended. Two groans escaped from his lips, 
His arms and legs were raised three times, and after eleven and a half minutes of hanging, Bill suffocated. And that's the story of how the outlaw Bill Longley lived through two hangings, with the third taking him to the final ending. Later, Bill Longley was buried in Giddings Cemetery, west of Giddings, Texas, south of US 290. Please like and share if you find the video content interesting and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below so as not to miss the upcoming interesting videos. Thanks for watching.